to the wrong hearing. <laughs> I call this meeting to order today. We will organize the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs for the 118th Congress. We will begin by selecting, uh, hopefully, the chair and vice chair, and then adopting the committee rules and funding resolution. First, I want to welcome back uh, our returning members and thank them for their partnership and incredible work last Congress and give a warm welcome to our newest member, uh, Senator uh, Mark Wayne Mullen. By any measure, the last two years were the most productive in recent decades and arguably the most productive in American history for the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs. In addition to securing billions for native communities through five landmark laws, over 80 bills were referred to our committee covering a wide range of topics, including public safety, Indian water rights, settlements, land into trust, housing, cultural patrimony, and native languages. Of these bills, 46 were considered by the committee, 30 were marked up, 34 were reported, 26 passed the full Senate, and 18 were enacted into law. And what's more, we confirmed the Assistant Secretary for Indian Affairs at DOI and the Director of IHS uh, at the um, Department of Health and Human Services, and none of these achievements would have been possible without this committee's bipartisan commitment to Native people in Indian country, in Alaska, and in Hawaii. Because of our long-standing tradition of bipartisan, because our long-standing tradition of bipartisanship is our strength. And so I'm truly proud to serve for the second consecutive Congress in leadership alongside my good friend, the Vice Chair, Senator Murkowski. Hawaii and Alaska enjoy a rich history together of friendship and achieving shared priorities from our unique states and I'm pleased to continue that tradition of collaboration and friendship. As chair, I'm determined to work with all of you to build on our bipartisan achievements and get even more things done for Native communities. And so I look forward to a productive 118th Congress, and I'll now turn to the vice chair for any opening statement. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Congratulations uh, to you. Know that uh, when you speak about our partnership, it's one that I value. I think um, it's not only friendships, but it's also uh, good outcomes. And you have noted some of the very positive outcomes from the uh, 117th Congress. I too want to acknowledge and, and welcome the newest member of our committee, uh, Senator Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma. For the first time since 2005, when Senator Ben Nighthorse Campbell uh, was here in the Senate, uh, a Native American has now been elected to the Senate and is going to be serving on this important committee. So I think that, that is, uh, that's a welcome addition. But it is all the members of this committee that I think have made a uh, commitment to, uh, to better the lives of, of uh, American Indians, Alaska Natives, Natives Ho Native Hawaiians, and, um, and made positive contributions. I know that this committee sometimes takes up what we would consider to be pretty parochial bills, um, but they're significant. They're important um, in, in the respective areas. And so the, the time and energy that is spent to address those is important. In addition to some of those parochial bills, you mentioned the 18 that were signed into law, um, but I think about what we have done with uh, native language revitalization. Uh, what we were able to accomplish with water settlement bills, uh, the STOP Act, what we were able to do within the 2022 VAWA with, um, with our tribal title, uh, what Senator Cortez Masto and I have been doing with regards to murdered missing indigenous peoples. So it, it's, it really is impactful what, uh, what this committee has done. When you think about the success of the infrastructure bill last year and how we rose to meet the needs across Indian country, I'm hearing from, from people all over my state about um, the enthusiasm for what they will see uh, with better access to, to broadband that will allow for everything from um, telehealth, tele, tele-education, um, what more they can be doing to, to make their communities stronger. And then everything that we've done with water and wastewater, the transportation, um, it, it was significant. And I think the efforts to, uh, to, to make improvements in basic needs like, like water and sanitation 
uh, improving the health and improving the lives of, of Native people everywhere. So I thank the committee members here, uh, Chairman Schatz, for your commitment to building on the progress that we've made so far and look forward to a good 118th. Gunashkish. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chair. I'm going to go through the script as quickly as possible, so excuse me if I sound like an auctioneer. Um, the first order of business is the election of the Chair and Vice Chair. Even though the Senate has already approved Senate Resolution 30 and 31, and each party has selected its committee leadership, the bipartisan nature of this committee has customarily called for a committee vote. So is there a motion for the nomination of the Chair? I think someone needs to nominate me as the Chair, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Is there... Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. aye. Uh, the nomination of the chair is agreed to. Is there a, I, I nominate uh, Lisa Murkowski as vice chair. Is there a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, congratulations, vice chair. On the next order of business is the adoption of the committee rules. The committee is required at the beginning of each Congress to adopt the rules that will govern its operations. A copy of the proposed rules has been provided to the members containing a technical correction to the rules used in the 117th. No member of the committee has offered any amendments to the proposed rule. Is there a motion to adopt? So moved. Second? Second. Uh, any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, the rules are adopted. Our next item of business is the adoption of the funding resolution. The resolution is based on the allocation provided by Senate Rules and Administration. Uh, it authorizes expenditure from March 1st, 23 through February 28th, 25. A copy has been provided to each member. And is there a motion to adopt the funding resolution? So moved. Is there a second? Thank you. Um, any discussion? Uh, all those in favor say aye. aye. Thank you. Our final uh, order of business, I'd like to waive subsection 12 of Rule 26 of the Standing Rules of the Senate as we did last Congress. And in previous Congresses, it's necessary to dispense with uh, uh, section 12 of Rule 26 of the Standing Rules of the Senate to expedite the business of the Senate so staff can expeditiously process committee reports that accompany bills heading to the floor, is there any objection? Hearing no objection, um, uh, said provision is waived. There being no further business before the committee, this hearing is adjourned. Okay. <laughs>